first of all get your clips ready right so i have my clips ready right here i'm gonna show you just a simple zoom out and then it offsets like this and then the other clips kind of fade in and then just that after i have my clips ready i'm gonna pre-compose them which i already did and i go back now they are all in the pre-composition like this you don't have to pre-compose i did it because it's easier for me to handle and manage the clips that way you can choose not to pre-compose it's completely your choice if you can manage your clips that way after that i just right clicked here when to transform and then just click on this flip horizontally again you don't have to do it i did it because my clips look better that way you know the drill now let's make the card right so firstly we're gonna make the base of the card i'm gonna go into this rectangle tool and make sure that no clip is selected otherwise it will just mask your clips right no clips are selected and now i'm just gonna go here and then draw a mask something like this and then change the color to white and then you're gonna hold shift and make another square in the middle like this holding shift will make a perfect square so it's easier that way now if you look right here there are two rectangles rectangle one is the big one rectangle two is the small one so i'm gonna go onto the rectangle two i'm gonna open this i'm gonna go to transform then i'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees right so i'm gonna write 45 and then enter now it's rotated 45 degrees let me just enable a grid so we can work easier right i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna go to proportional grid now you'll see that there is this grid thing and this is our center right so i'm gonna just grab this thing put it something like this so you know it's in the center so it looks good okay it, it looks good that way this looks decent but i'm gonna move the square out a bit so click on the rectangle 2 and just grab this and move it out if i hold shift it will lock in on this axis if i don't then it'll run anywhere right so hold shift and then move it maybe like this I think this looks pretty good now let's add the lyrics right so i'm gonna go to my browser and i'm gonna search for genius.com this is the website that we are remaking right so genius.com and then search your song name on this column this is the song that i'm using on this video and this is the lyric that i'm gonna copy i'm gonna just go here and control c to copy and then go back to after effects and press control t to open the text cursor left click and i'm just gonna control v and paste all the stuff right for now just for now i'm gonna make it red so we can you know see the color now we have this one big line and i need to turn this one big line into multiple small lines there are two ways to do it you can do it manually or you can use a plugin i have this plugin called text explorer i'm gonna use this for now later i'll also show you how to do it manually to separate these with the plugin firstly i'm gonna go inside the text so double click here i'm inside the text now now i'm just gonna separate these lines by pressing enter okay so i'm just gonna let's say go here and uh, press enter now i'm gonna go let's say here and press enter then i'm gonna go here and press enter then i'm gonna go here and press enter now i have these five lines and also let me just turn off the grid for now yeah now you see that there are multiple lines but the layer is one to make all of these lines into multiple layers i'm gonna go to my plugin i'm gonna go into split into and i'm gonna go to the lines option and then just click on apply now every clip of mine has their own layer right so i separated this one it has different layer different layer different layer different layer, different layer. if you want to do it manually then i would suggest just go here and select like two or three words like this and then press ctrl t here left click and then just paste the text here now go back and then just copy this then left click and paste here and then so on right you can do it like this this is the easiest way otherwise you'll have to mess with a lot of things now i'm gonna select all of my text so click on the first layer hold shift and then click on the last layer all of them will be selected i just grab this and just move it here now let's change the font because we are trying to replicate this website and the font here is obviously different so i'm just gonna go back to after effects and the font that this website uses it's called program something by the way it was so hard to find the font name i'm gonna tell you how i found it but not in this video okay it's very technical and i became a hacker loki i'm gonna gatekeep it for now but i will tell in the future okay maybe in a week or two i'll make a video about it so bullshit aside let's just change the font right so i'm just gonna go here and then search for the font the font is called program is something okay so this is here just click on this and now the font is changed i'm gonna link the font and other stuff that i used in the description okay you don't have to worry about it i got you now let's make the box background behind these so just click on this rectangle tool again and make sure no clip is selected 
and just draw a square like this okay change the color to black right and uh, here we have it let me just put it below the text and yeah that's pretty good i'm gonna make this a little more thick okay so just go here and move it like this and i think that's but be that's better now let's just duplicate this move it below the other layer and just drag it down you can hold shift so you know it stays in the lane and just put it here then you can grab this and extend it like this so it fits the whole text now you will see that when you extend it it moves from this side to fix that you need to put your anchor on this point and it will stop right so there is this plugin called motion tools i mean not plugin but script called motion tools you just need to click here and uh, you got it you can also do this by a juice packs just go here and then click on this icon and just click on this icon now it will be shifted to this point this thing comes with the free plugins pack and as you can see there's a black friday sale going on so they are selling stuff for very very cheap like just look at this that's cool as hell just look at this bro it's pretty good i'm gonna put their links in the description you can check them out okay now let's get back to work when i move this the position doesn't mess up so that's what i wanted right let me just fix it it's pretty good i'm gonna duplicate the layer again and move it below the text and i just grab it hold shift so it doesn't mess up go here and then grab this and move it back here you can also enable the proportional grid for this one but i'm just gonna eyeball it you know you can be perfect with it you can take your time i'm just gonna eyeball it okay that looks pretty good now let's just select the text and change them to white hold on let me show you a cool trick which will save your time okay trust me trust me usually how you would select these layers is by clicking here control click here click here click here that takes time okay and if you have a lot of layers it's gonna take a lot of time what you can do is you can right click on this icon and then go to select label group okay let me zoom out click on this select label group and you'll see the magic you see you see that's why this way you selected all the label group automatically and then just go here and make it white simple now it looks pretty good okay you can stop at this or you can add a logo of genius to sell this even more so i'm gonna go here and then just put a logo here and just scale it out by the way i found this logo in google so you can just go here search for it you'll find it download the png and then paste it you get the idea right now it's time to animate the whole stuff okay so firstly i'm just gonna pre-compose the whole stuff because it's easier for me to handle right you can choose not to it all depends on you don't ask me again Control shift c to pre-compose click on this here okay also i'm gonna click on this icon to continuously rasterize my clip what this icon does is if i move it you can see it's cutting from here but if i enable this it will bring back the original properties right so original shape and original effects and everything enable the rasterization now add the slide in so press p to open position move it like this this I, I hope you guys know how to make a slide in F9 and then just add a graph. I'm going to add a speed graph because I don't know. I'm just going to add this. Let me play it now. Nah, that's that's too slow. Hold on. Okay, let me play it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know that that motion, it kind of sells the slide in in a sense. Fire. If your music has some ongoing lyric, let's say he's saying forgiveness while this pops out, right? So you can animate it by just animating the block behind it, right? So I'm just gonna go in there and I'm just gonna kind of animate the box like this. It will move out like this. So it will feel like, you know, a progression animation or some shit like that. You get what I mean. I'm gonna press S for scale and unlink this scale okay click here to unlink this scale i'm gonna click on this icon to make a keyframe go here i guess and then just click again to make another keyframe now i'm gonna make this thing you know this axis i think it's y axis if it's not y axis then i think it's x axis so just click here and make it zero now the box will kind of disappear right then i'm just gonna move it behind like this i guess and i'm just gonna go here f9 graph make a graph something like this that's pretty good you can use the value graph as well i'm gonna use the speed graph because i don't care enough now if i play it like this yeah you know this slide out animation and this is kind of contradicting so i'm just gonna go here and move the box a little behind
no that's much better now you can leave it at that but there's no fun in it okay this this a fun so let's add a zoom out you can add a zoom out through nurse which is very easy you know you can do it easily but again it's not fun so i'm going to add a zoom in with 3d right 3d zoom in right click new and add a camera okay then right click new and add a null object okay let's link this camera to the null object and let me just hide this unnecessary information and then let's enable the 3d of all the layers now if i move this you will see that only this clip is affecting and not this one that's because this clip does not have rasterization on in it and that's also because the clips inside this rasterized layers are not enabled in 3d so if i just go in and select all and then enable 3d to all the layers and then go back now the 3d should work on both also i'm going to enable rasterization on this layer as well because this way my clips won't be cut out and i'll get you know extended clips so just click here now you will see that the 3d stopped so just go in control a and enable 3d on all the layers simple now let's zoom in at this part okay i wanted to zoom in at this text animation or the box animation all right i'm going to zoom in there so make a keyframe move it a little behind i guess then go ahead and zoom in like this with the z position and then just focus on this part i think that should be enough i'm going to select both f9 and let's imagine there's a beat on this part so i'm going to go here and make a graph something like this if i play it now that's pretty good but i feel like the zoom in is too far so i'm just going to make it like this again it seems too fast if your song allows you can select these and put it you know like this so your graph has more time to zoom in you know it's much more smoother now the graph kind of messed up so i'm just going to go in and i'm going to make a graph fix it a bit like this Now if I play it it should look better. That's pretty good. That's pretty smooth as well. I like it. I like it that way. I like it. Now you can leave it at that but I'm going to use a rotation because I think that looks cool. Okay, so I'm just going to add a new null layer. Right click new null object and then I'm going to link the old null layer to new null layer and then press on this Q icon to enable the 3D. Let's make a rotation. Let me also enable the position of the previous null layer so I can see where the keyframes are. to get a guidance now add a keyframe here then go let's say here and then add another keyframe right now let's make some rotation now i want it to rotate at this point okay or maybe at least this point but if i rotate right now it moves at this point okay this is because the anchor point is here and if i rotate it 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 rotates from here because this is the center to fix that there is this tool i don't know what to call it pan behind there's this tool okay you can grab this and just put it where you want it to be i want the anchor point to be here now it will be here if i rotate now you will see that it rotates from this point okay so it's pretty handy it's pretty handy okay now let me just put the keyframe here select the keyframes f9 then this was the beat right this was the initial beat so i'm going to go here then make the graph so it kind of fits the beat the imaginary beat that we made okay If I play it now, okay, it looks like this. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't hate it. It's pretty good. And yeah, you'll see that there is this gap here. To fix it, I'm just gonna go here and just zoom in the footage. You can do the whole motion dial and all the stuff, but I'm just gonna zoom in because it's lazy and it's easy. Okay, it's fast as well. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And about this, this kind of box here, just go in and grab this, the shape layer, the background layer. Go inside. Go inside. rectangle one because it was the one it was the the big one right the rectangle one and just pull it like this now it became even bigger now the gap is fixed i think that's all for this tutorial check out the age use packs before you leave the link will be in the description if you buy it will help me out as well so i appreciate it and if you want to learn more about mo graph then check these out